Hi. Hey everyone, welcome back. As we move on on the techniques of agroforestry systems, now we're going to talk about something completely new that you have never heard of, which is companion planting. Ta da! <laughs> and I know we've talked. Uh, it is a recurring topic on the videos. You, I, I'm sure you have realized that, but that's because it's so important, right? It's one of the the basic probably, concept we probably covered most of it already in yeah. previous videos but, but uh, now let's, go let's back really get systematically into it um, I want to start by saying that in nature companion planting is just a perfect normal thing don't you think we see it's it part everywhere. of the laws it's part of the laws of nature yeah and um, I, there, there's a book that I once read and I think that's a really really great book and I love it because of the title it's called carrots love tomatoes the reason I love this is because it really says that plants love being together it's not a matter of oh they can be together oh it, they fit together no they love being together they're happier if they're together what, what, what do you say yeah for sure I mean uh, there's there's all the benefits where the roots are helping each other they're, they're, they're helping each other with the wind, with the shade and so they're really more comfortable, you know, it's like a, a herd of you know, you know it's, it's like uh, you know, you've you, you got your cows and, and, and they enjoy to have the bird picking on them eating all the insects off their backs and you know, they just love being together yeah, for sure um, so it's really a matter of, of the well-being of plants, right? they develop growing in groups and not alone in most cases and well as you can see we're here in this spot where we've got um, the eucalyptus in the back you can't really see the crown but maybe you see the trunk of it we've got a citrus tree a lime uh, and a coffee plant here they're they're not doing worse off because they're together than if they were alone that's definitely not true it's probably the opposite right yeah, one the, is not the really results bothering. will show that the uh, results will show this is a two-year-old coffee plant you know i really i really you have to search hard to see a two-year-old coffee plant i mean if this was in may you'd see this all just heavy next year this is just going to fall it's going to be so heavy so much fruit it's really going to tilt so the results do speak for themselves yeah exactly and this falls into that um stratification process that we mentioned right we're here in a spot that we've come before in another video and we're returning because it's such a beautiful image um we're in a stage of succession already th this this line here would be already uh composed of plants from the secondary forest okay and so at this moment the, the stratification of the system is eucalyptus as an emergent tree, we've got soursop or guanabana as a, a tree occupying the high layer. You can't really see it here because it's to the side. Um, and then we've got the citrus tree which occupies the medium layer and we've got the coffee plant which occupies the low layer or the understory of the forest. A few other things that we just threw in by seed to see what would happen to give us some guarantees. If it comes a problem, we're going to prune it and feed the ground. But I'll try to bring him into the image. Hello, this is Inga. This is an Inga tree. Very good for pruning and very good fruit. So, you know, it's just more guarantees. Say, you know, something happened with my sour soap. Something happened with, you know, we've got the Inga coming through. So we've got backup, you know, with all that seed information just backing us up. That's and nice. it's so beautiful. I wish you could see it. It's so beautiful. The way it's just fitting in with the coffee. Uh, they're not competing. They're, they're really just each one maximizing, optimizing that space and just photosynthesis in, the, in its maximum meter cube. Exactly. That's definitely it. And we return to that idea and I think this is um, something you can think of graphically, right? Um, I have to think about how to do this to the camera so that it's, it's on the, the right position for, for people watching. So you've got a graphic here. Okay, imagine this is a graphic. This is my one of the axes 
and this is the other one, right? So here we're, divi we're dividing the, the, the layers of occupation of trees, right? And here you've got time going this way. So um, basically stratification and the succession of species are the distribution of plants along mm -hmm. height, right? So on space and throughout time. And this is a really important thing that I, I like to reinforce a lot because it's, it's a very simple concept and, and sometimes people get a bit lost. And it's all about um, shade loving plants and sun loving plants. You know, once you, you, you understand where your plant comes from, coffee comes from forests of Africa where it occupies the understory of the forest. So we're just putting it into this place that it developed to fit and to occupy and so it's all about thinking uh, among those terms and optimizing and building that that it's cool to think of also of a ladder right mm -hmm. you've got a ladder and it's a when you when you do proper stratification um, you get a the effect of a filter of sunlight and not a blockage of sunlight and this is key for being able to produce in a companion plant system that really nurtures all the plants equally in their demand because you have taken into account prior to building that which plants are, sh are sun loving which plants are shade loving and that's the way to do uh, it. You know, Felipe, I'd really like to add um, about the stimulation, you know, with this companion plant and the stimulation of growth. I'll give you an example. Uh, we, we've, we've had experience here where we planted onions with uh, guinea grass. And it's just a case where, you know, I'm not looking to harvest the grass in the beginning. I'm, I'm looking to use that grass to feed the onion. So really, you know, the, the guinea grass grows ever so fast. So it's growing and we're trimming it. So when it's gonna become the problem, we're trimming it and feeding the onion and let it grow and trim and feed the onion, you know? And once we've harvested this onion, then, then you know, it's been returned so much matter to that, that then that's when you really gotta see some palpo uh, guinea grass. That's when it's gonna come as if, you know, if you want exploring and exploring and, you know, extracting from the spot, you give it back and then you see the real guinea grass. We uh, also get that stimulation in the growth. You know, we can compare it to rocky or something else or, or many other types of plants where once it's grown and it's faster, this one is, is running, running, running behind it, chasing after it. So we get this with the uh, papayas, you know, we're planting papayas and we see the mogonum, the, the mahogany, sorry, okay. chasing it. And it's, it's amazing how tall a mahogany can become in a couple of years, in two years. We've got seven, eight meters high mahogany here in two years because of the papaya. And you know, and, and the papaya and the eucalyptus, and you know, I like sometimes bringing the eucalyptus right down. So I've planted it with enough density where I can afford to bring some of them right down and not only trim it. And you see it coming back and say, say we've got the stimulation, we've, we've, we've got a, we've got, say we've got a plant A here and this eucalyptus is passing it. And as it passes, whoop, and then you cut it and as it passes it, it whoop. so the stimulation, you, 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 that growth stimulation, and as it's passing, it's always trying to compete, and you, you're stimulating it, and you get so much result from this, because trees, you know, they evolve, and, and then, I mean, if, if you're into it, if you're in it to win it, I mean, three times the height of your mahogany, I mean, if you're in it to win it, you've won. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so there's no doubt that really plants just grow, they lush more together, you know, they, they, they get this very, it's luxury, oh, it's luxury, plush. you know, companion planting, you just, it's, you know, even if you just add two species together, and I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again just for the sake of it, because if you plant cassava and you plant taro with it, you're just going to harvest twice as much. That, that's as, it's simple mathematics, okay? You just harvest twice as much. You would have spent the same in terms of input if you had planted just one. Now, we've prepared the bed, we've, we've, we've 
you know we've put the manure in we've stretched out the irrigation and then you know it fits you know you can fill it in you can fill in the gaps you know so uh it's just win 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 if you're in it to win it you won <laughs> <laughs> nice one guys right. um, we appreciate that i think that's Thanks. it you know it's it would be really awesome if you bring to the webinar companion plants um systems that worked for you you know bring us your experience on that you know or that which you might crops think or that you might you might want to question work. us you know exactly we're not uh we're not a library we might not not the whole world but you know we, we we've had some experience so bring it to us we exactly. hope we can help you with this bring us what you have in your region let's let's hope we can help you with this and and it's all about the principles and uh and experimenting and experimenting and really, share really us. have to so experiment. bring us your positive experience exactly yeah. it's always good to consider um when you when you're going to try to put two plants together really consider what's the architecture of that plant you know how it it grows does it fit well with this other one do do the their architecture fit together it's it's a bit like a puzzle you know they There's really a lot of trial really and error fit together and we've done dozens of experiments many of them have gone wrong but many of them have gone right each and time now, you get less wrong exactly so now we've got some some golden companion plants that you, we know work and we just repeat them over, over and over listen but and this each is different yeah, for each region yeah and you know what let's bring it to the facebook group let's share let's share our experience for sure let's up the tribe you know because this is where we're going to be able to one learn from the other exactly you know this is really rich opportunity for us here so let's really share let's make it happen in the facebook group that's it thanks a lot for watching and we hope you enjoyed it and for now from the agroforestry academy crew signing off sign out catch you later <laughs>